Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Planting Birches. This is Megan. I am doing my once a month grocery haul. For those of you that are new, I'm a mom of five. There's seven of us in our family and we do a huge once a month grocery haul. We go back weekly for the fresh stuff. I'm gonna show you all the prices. I'm going to show you the grand total and uh, it's gonna be good. So let's get shopping. First stop today is Aldi. First up, we've got cilantro. It's 85 cents, man. The last time we used up a ton of cilantro. So now it's time for a refresh. We're rocking strawberries at $1.99. Oh, we love our strawberries. Actually, Aldi tends to have really good strawberries when they've got them. So I'm gonna grab three of these guys. I keep them in a jar. They last like a week and a half. It's pretty amazing. Cauliflower is looking good at $2.89. Two pounds of carrots for $1.69. Do put a paper towel in here as these tend to be a little bit wet and get moldy, so we don't want that. We've got burger buns for $1.29. They've gone up about 30 cents over the last year. Crazy. We're doing something new today. We're gonna try a Nutella, but here at Aldi. So this one is called Hazelnut Spread, and we usually get ours at Sam's Club, two big containers of it. This is gonna save just a little bit of money, a couple cents, but hey, that's okay. I'm gonna give it a try, see how it tastes. A few of you have told me it's good. So I'm trusting you, but I need two of them to make the taste buds happy. So we're gonna give it a go. You can't get prices like this on yellow mustard anywhere. 95 cents for a 20 ounce bottle of mustard. Mm -hmm. We're grabbing a bag of cashews. They're on sale for 6.45 right now. That's a $1.50 off. We like to eat these just, you know, how they are, just for fun, because they're so good. But I don't know if you've seen these, they have coconut. They've got honey roasted, salt and pepper, chili lime, which actually sounds fantastic. And I think that's all that I see for flavor. So which one's your fave? I don't know, honey roasted sounds good, but that chili lime sounds good too. I mean, just all of them, put them all in. Taco night always means chips and salsa too. It's $3.49 for the bag. They're currently 50 cents off. I'm grabbing two. A special request was given for brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. They're three eighty-five. They are the cheapest here. Now I would buy the store brand ones at like Meyer or at Walmart if they had it, but they are all out. I looked on the app and could not find them. They were just sold out, whatever. So we're gonna go for this one this time. Syrup for all the yummy goodness that we need to have it on. Waffles, pancakes, I make homemade ones. So these are two oh nine. I grabbed two of them. Granulated sugar, two eighty five for four pounds. We use a lot of pineapple in our smoothies, which we have nearly every day. These are running $1.28 for the can. And uh, these are slices, which is fine. It's not really my favorite, but they taste the same. And it's going in a smoothie anyway, right? So four of these babies are going on in. Oh, look at some new things at Aldi. They have a coffee dry rub. That's uh, four sixty nine. dollars Grill seasonings assorted with the kicked up chicken. I've had kicken chicken, which I'm sure is very similar to that. Chicago style steak, amazing burger. What do we have here? We've got spicy garlic hot sauce, Polynesian sweet and spicy. We've got the avocado serrano. Is that how you say that? Okay. And then we've got some barbecue sauces. Let's see what they've got. Kansas City, Memphis. Carolina in Texas, of course. We've also got some garlic aioli and a chipotle aioli spread. You got a lot of good things going on over here. Also down here, they've got loaded bacon and cheddar or fried pickle ranch chips. So here's the roasted garlic and sea salt aged cheddar. Where's the pickle one? I'm not currently seeing the fried pickle one. I see a spicy pickle one down there. And this one is all dressed up, a mixture of barbecue salt and vinegar and ketchup. Wow, that's that's intense. We've been eating a lot more things with tortillas. They are $1.75 for the pack of them. I'll probably put one in the freezer, one in the cabinet, and we're gonna make all sorts of yummy stuff. Our favorite soap ever, even for the older kids, it's just fantastic. This baby wash rocks, $2.69. I'd really like to get two of them, so let's see if there's more. Uh -huh. So glad there is. I've been making my own salsa, which is super yummy, but it does need some Rotel or diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. They're 85 cents for the can. Just one parchment paper, $2.59 over here. I was thinking about getting aluminum foil from here, but it is quite pricey actually compared to even Meyer and Walmart. So I'm gonna pass on that for today. Look at the tasty things that showed up over the last week or so. We have Americana Trail Mix. Let's see what's in it. Peanuts, raisins, cocoa candies, and sunflower kernels. That sounds pretty good. And then Chips Ahoy, Hershey's Fudge Filled. Wow, do tell, I've never had those. And then those just have little chunks of it in there. 
Oh, we've got fruit roll-ups if you want some different flavors. Strawberry, tropical, and blue raspberry. Fantastic. If you haven't gotten your helmets yet for summertime, here they have helmets for $14.99. That's pretty good. These are adult and kids. Last time I bought rice, it was cheaper at Walmart, and today it is cheaper at Aldi. Yay for me, $5.45 for 80 ounces, which is what, six, five pounds? Yeah, love jasmine rice, so yummy. I want to try something a little different today. So I was going to do this one, but they're already ground, which is kind of a bummer. These are beans. I'm going to go for the Honduras, and they are $5.95 for 12 ounces. And I grind my own beans. I say let's do it. Let's just give it a whirl. Have you guys tried any either of these? Tell me your thoughts on that. It's 247 for 2% milk. I'm gonna grab three of these guys. This is something that I come back weekly for just because we don't have enough room to keep more. A dollar eighteen for eggs. Wow, my heart is happy. I have some at home, so I'm just gonna go for one and I think we'll be a-okay. Not that one though. No. All right, I think that one's speaking to me. Love the shrimp at Aldi, $6.49 for a pack of the medium raw, and I'm going to grab uh, three of these guys. Frozen corn, I'm buying three, they're 95 cents each. Well, this is cute, $10 if you can get a Chipotle shrimp street taco meal kit. It comes with all the things, spinach, corn, roasted tomato medley, the shrimp, ooh, and then crispy fish street tacos, complete meal, wow. Anybody tried those? They look good. Time to check out at Aldi and I'll give you the total in just a second. I totally forgot to get salt, so we gotta go back down yonder. 57 cents for the table salt. Okay, one more thing I forgot, the brown gravy. I have one at home, I just need another one. Israel has requested some mashed potatoes and I say, okay, 39 cents for the pack. Okay, now we're gonna check out and I'll give you the total in just a second. Grand total for Aldi, 107.98. That's a pretty good haul. I don't usually get much above 100, so that's, we're getting some good stuff. Uh, I've gotta go pick up something from Target, some wipes, and then we'll head over to Walmart. How about we take a look down the aisles of Walmart? Look at all the summer fun. We've got goggles, snorkeling gear, tons of little pool things you can lounge about in. The beach ball is a great thing. Not bad on prices, right? $2, $2.50 for a tube? I mean, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like very much. Have you guys played Hungry Hippo the game and now they have a Hungry Hippo splash? Okay, water sprinkler game. Feed your hippo to win. Oh, and then it shoots out at you? Okay, all right, I like that. That looks like a lot of fun. Then operation splash? What? They're always coming out with the great stuff, aren't they? I love those little baby boats. I had my little ones in that when, when they were little. Yeah. Oh, the family pool. I definitely know that my dog's nails would break that immediately. Doesn't matter how well they're clipped. But I have seen dog pools, so the material must be quite a bit different than these little blow up ones, obviously. Aww. And hooded beach towel. How cute, you can be a little octopus. Who remembers the days of driving to go see family like for the middle of the summer or something like that right after school? We did it, we would go do a family reunion. We lived in Colorado, we would drive up to Minnesota. It was a long, long drive with no games, no shows, just a pillow and pray you don't get car sick, right? Mm. Where's my 80s babies? Look at this. You know the Little Mermaid's coming out. I don't know. I hope it's really good. I have to just disassociate from the Disney movie because that's my childhood. But I'm gonna try to appreciate the new movie. Anybody gonna see it? These diapers are the small box. I really need the large one, but I also really need the diapers. $17.48 for this box of 72. And I will have my eye out for the larger box when it comes back in. My kids went to the dentist recently and they were told to get some little flossers and they've kind of fallen in love with the whole idea of flossing their teeth with these guys. So it makes it easy and it gets the job done. I'm getting the big pack. So they're 738 for the 300 of them. We're gonna split them between the kids, between Marcus and I, and uh, the double line, the twin line, wonderful. It's been a long time since I bought cotton balls, 96 cents 
for the 100 count. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna start with the small bag and we'll work our way up another time. $8.12 for the six pack of the five blade Equate brand razors. Ooh, we're trying another store brand today. I hope I don't regret this. Classic Ranch, $1.93. We're gonna try it in the Great Value brand. If we love it, we'll get it again. If we don't, well. Marcus has been loving my red velvet cake and it's almost his birthday, so how about we make him red velvet cake for his birthday? $3.88 for the colors. Really, I just need the red. So I'm gonna walk around. There's one other spot I can look for uh, some different baking, decorating type things. So I will look there, but just in case, I'm gonna put this in my cart for now, 388. Also, how about we get him a candle that says 40 on it, huh? These are a dollar each for the candle, four zero. Oh my. Yogurt time from Yoplait, $3.12. I see strawberry. I am gonna try the vanilla on this one from Great Value. It's $2.36 for the container. A lot of times other ones have a really strange aftertaste, but we're gonna give this one a whirl and see how it goes. I've been shredding my own cheese lately, $3.68 for the sharp cheddar. And I'm also gonna go for the mozzarella. It's back there, $3.68 for that one as well. $16.48 for the doggy food. We'll get this big old guy in the last for quite a while. We're gonna get some seasoned fries. I bought some a couple weeks ago at Meyer, and their brand, it was really good. This Great Value one's a little bit less expensive, so we're gonna give it a try, see how it tastes. Any seasoned french fry fans around there? Well, it's a lot of fr 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 Any seasoned french fry fans? Let me know in the comments. You ready to check out and see how much this baby costs? Let's do it. The Wally is done. 85.55 was my total. And I gotta have a little shout out to the guy that checks people out. Well, he doesn't really check people out, he just says goodbye to people. But he is like that hometown, old fashioned kind of guy that knows everybody and talks to everybody and just stands there and asks about people's babies. And these little kids came up to him, couldn't wait to talk to him. He was just so personable and fun. And it just reminded me of like something from a movie, you know, like the 1950s, 60s, something like that. Where it's like, hey, Bill, hey, James, how are ya? You have yourself a good day now. You straighten up, be safe. I don't know, he was just cute. So usually I go to Sam's Club first and then I go to Aldi, but because I was already on this side of town, I went Aldi, Target, Walmart, all in the same strip mall. And now I'm gonna head back to Sam's Club because it closes at eight and I don't want to get caught with them being closed. Summer is here, friends. I didn't even get to tell you. 85 degrees outside. Now wait. Oh, I thought this was a Christmas tree, but this is a topiary. Okay. The gnomes are doing their thing. You guys, I know some of you love the gnomes. What is this one to you? Is it a good one? Happy 4th of July. Oh, that's $50. $49.98 for that guy. What kind of cookies do we have? I've seen these here before. The birthday cakes, strawberries and cream, lemon shortbread, orange dream skull and cotton candy. Yum. And then these star cutout cookies are really cute. I mean, I will take the cupcakes if you bring them to me. Whatever you wanna do, you go ahead and do that. How fun is this? Double lanes, double fun. So they have the water balloons at the end, but you also have the slides. So you slide down into them, they break in your face. That's a lot of water, a lot of coldness. How many of you are like, listen, if you're gonna play with the water, do not spray me. Yeah, that's me. I'm always like, don't spray me, please. I beg you. For those of you that shop at Costco, I saw a commercial recently for these X-Shot. Uh, you Look at this. You stick the whole thing into the water and it fills up super fast, which if you are familiar with water guns at all, that is an amazing feature. But I saw that they have them at Costco and I'm not sure where else. Do you have them where you are? Have you seen these? Ooh, it's so tempting. $24.98. I'm going to have to see what we can do about that because I know my kids would love that. So I told you guys that I was going to try the liquid dish soap from Members Mark. And I will say that I actually prefer it. It took me a little while to figure out what I thought of it. But I actually prefer it now over the Dawn. And here's why. If you have any kind of interesting flavoring left behind, like kind of a flowery taste on maybe some of your plastic wear or some of your like uh, rubber utensils that kind of a thing this has made things so it doesn't do that anymore and I never could figure out 
quite why that would be there sometimes. I am absolutely loving the Members Mark liquid dish soap. And if you didn't see my grocery haul prep with me, you should go and see it. What I put it in to wash my dishes makes me really happy, but you'll have to go see it to find out. $7.98 for this big guy. I also like the Members Mark dishwasher packs. They're $11.98 for 105 of them. When I compared prices for the Jet Dry, this is by far the cheapest. There is a $4 savings going on right now and it ends sometime. When does it end? June 4th. So it's $7.58 right now, normally $11.58, and that's kind of the price, somewhere between $10 and $11 and $11.50 at other stores. So I am going to do the limit, which is two. I'm gonna grab two of them because I love this stuff. Grabs some paper towels. These are the Select and Tear for $19.98. That's the Member Mark brand. I also grabbed some toilet paper. I got the Members Mark bath tissue for $22.98 and I had to show you something. So there's a little sale going on down here for the Quilted Northern. If you use Scan and Go, it's $19.28. And when you first look at it, you think like, oh yeah, that's cheaper. No joke, there's been three people, including myself, standing here with our calculators trying to figure out, are we really getting a deal? So you get about 3,000 less sheets uh, of toilet paper for this as you do for the members mark so it's really not worth the savings you're actually doing a lot better to get the members mark but it did take a little calculating just to make sure because it was very enticing to see that sale price and go oh maybe i'm saving not so much extra virgin olive oil we've got three liters it's 1848 for the members mark brand Okay, the Members Mark Sea Salt I use this for baking my sourdough bread. It's 334. Usually we get the Hershey syrup and the chocolate chips, but we're gonna do a little experiment this month and just see if we can do without it and maybe only get chocolate chips as necessary rather than like all the time. Because once you have them, then you gotta use them, right? Yeah. We haven't had frosted mini wheats in a long time. 776 for the two bags. When I was a kid, we got the kind without the sugar. A little bit sad. I'm so, so happy they said that they would cut some of this pork loin for me so that I can do pork chops. And I'm very happy because the last three times I've been here, that has not been the case. So I'm thinking we don't like a whole lot of dark meat on it. And I know the camera isn't gonna show these very nicely in the picture, so it's gonna look weird, but um, there's a little bit there, but I think that's okay. 15.38 in my Sam's Club will cut these into pork chops for me, which saves quite a bit because it's $1.98 a pound. And over here, if you get the pork chops already done up, it's $2.76 a pound. Shall we check out the meats that are rocking around this clock tonight? Well, the one that really stood out to me was this one here. What is this? A beef tenderloin whole beef tenderloin. It's just $133. Just, you know, okay, wow. This little thing, $102. I can't say that I have any idea if that's good price, bad price. That just seems like a high price. So what are your thoughts on that? Any of you make that? Is it good? Is it like superior to all things? I want to know. How about a quick look at all of their already made yummy goodnesses? This salad looks amazing. It's a berry salad kit with all the yum. And then they've got fruit trays. They've got a shrimp uh, ceviche chicken salad, the Mediterranean pasta salad, mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, twice baked potatoes, roasted wings. Now this one does look really good, but I'm going to make something like that, so I'm not getting it. Chicken pot pie. Ooh, cheese manicotti. Come on, man. And then what is this? Hatch chili chicken enchiladas. Ooh, that does sound good. Rotisserie chicken enchiladas. Yes. Chicken alfredo. Oh, man. The garlic chicken con broccoli that they used to have at uh, Olive Garden. Oh, yes. We've got bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers, pork loin filet that's bacon wrapped. Oh, my heavens. Okay. Oh, my word, it's my lucky day. 318 is the new low price for the cucumber. It's a little over a dollar something for each one, and we love these things. Also, I'm gonna get my apples today at Sam's Club. They're a little pricier than Meyer, but I feel like the quality just does it right. Five pounds, $6.98 for the Gala apples. Pepper time, $6.68 for six jumbo peppers of goodness and loveliness. Yep, I think I'll go for those guys right there. Two bags of lemons, $4.28 each. Oh, I have never seen this before. $6.98 sweet apriums. So a mixture of apricots and plums. Ooh, now that does sound pretty good. How many of you have had that? 
I kind of want to get crazy and give them a try. 25% plum, 75% apricot. My dad might try them with me, huh? I thought he would. Okay, this one looks a little more rosy. I'm gonna go for this one. 478 for six hearts of romaine. The best price in town for butter is 11.98. It's about $3 a pound. Let's check out what's new over here in the food snacky aisle. Nearly naked popcorn. 35 calories a cup, keeping it kosher, non-GMO corn, gluten-free. Wow, making taste buds boogie since 2003. The flavor check is banging. Okay, 598, how many of you have tried that before? I'm telling you, this Funfetti birthday cake business is just going big. 1098, limited time only for the soft mini Funfetti cookie from Pillsbury. My dad used to work for Pillsbury when I was a kid. And it was, uh, we got to taste some things along the way. It was wonderful. Club crackers, 9.78 for the box. The kids and I are getting back into German and we need some motivation. So Haribo gummy bears are going home with us. As they use their German words, they get some little treats along the way. 10.98 for this huge four and a half pound bag. Yep, that's right, four and a half pounds. But you know, with five kids and a mama that loves it, it's not gonna take long to get through it. Oh, have you guys seen this? This is Fannie Mae's S'mores Snack Mix. Crunchy grams and fluffy marshmallows coated in milk chocolate. These mini pixies also look delicious. Signature milk chocolate, rich caramel, crunchy pecans. Yes, that all sounds wonderful. Oh, look at that, Rocky Road Chocolatiers Mix. Let's see, crunchy almonds, pecans, fluffy marshmallows coated in milk chocolate. Yum. We're getting close to the end here at Sam's Club. The Toasty Sandwich Crackers, 9.36 for this peanut butter goodness. The store is about to close, guys. I have one last thing. It is vinegar for all the things. $5.98 for the box of two. We are definitely filled to the brim today. Grand total at Sam's Club was $2.29.06. And we'll get out of here and we'll head over to Meyer. We're here at Meyer for banana jamma time. 49 cents a pound. I got a lot of bananas because we're doing a lot less snacky stuff and I do want to have some stuff around for the kids to have. So apples, bananas, we're going to find some clementines. I was hoping to get them at Sam's Club, but I did not see them. So hopefully they're here. And they are $4.99 each for three pounds of these guys. We're going to go for broccoli, $2.99 a pound. This isn't going to go too much, but I think just one of these will be fine. Actually, I lie. I'm going to get two of them. One for a snack plate, one for a dinner. Finally, 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 the green beans look beautiful. Oh my, I don't know how much they are. I'm gonna say $1.99, but they're not labeled, but these are gorgeous and I want them. Okay, I haven't done a stir fry in a really long time. Today's the day. Well, not right now, but you know, for now. $4.49 a pound. I'm just gonna grab a small handful, throw that in stir fry, and we're happy as could be. 69 cents for a clove of garlic. $1.29 for the sweet onion. I have one at home, but I do need another one. I've got some oniony things coming up. And then I also want to get a red onion, but man, these are huge. Good thing I put stuff in a jar, right? So it lasts forever. This one is going for $1.29 a pound. We're going old school today. I just got a hankering for the stuff we used to, used to eat all the time. Red potatoes, $3.29. Actually, Israel asked me to make mashed potatoes, so I'm like, yeah, for sure. Check out this watermelon slicer. Have you guys ever used a watermelon slicer? Wow, that's a, that's gotta be pretty big. Also grabbed four russet potatoes, $1.09 a pound. Well, looky here, the chicken's on sale, $2.49. You guys remember when it used to be $1.98 for like the longest time? I'll try not to reminisce too much, but I want two of these guys. Uh, this one is $11.50 for the pack. And then, oh, this one looks pretty good. Hits it right on the money at 12. I'm gonna be making some pulled pork, but I'm also gonna make a Filipino adobo um, pork type of thing. And so I'm gonna use pork shoulder for that. This one's on sale. Well, it's either $2.69 a pound or it's $2.49 a pound. I don't know. Maybe it says on here. Let's see. $2.69. Oh, these over here are $2.49. Okay, I'm actually gonna go for these guys. I don't know, it must be because it's bone in, but that's fine. I'm gonna cook it up in my pressure cooker. All will be well. So I have this guy, he's 972. I think I'm gonna go with this small one, 584. I'm gonna grab this 7525 ground beef. I don't typically get the that percentage, but I'm gonna do it this time. It's 479 a pound. So right now it's actually on sale for 299. So I'm gonna get a good deal. 
I have some at home already and I'm just going to grab, I think, I think I'm just gonna grab one. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab one. That should be enough and that's just filling in some holes. We already have some at home. Wow, I cannot believe that there is this much meat here for the top sirloin. Usually that's a hard one for me to come by. The kids get steak a couple times throughout the month for dinners, they really like it. Marcus and I typically stick to fish type things, but we're gonna get into some more chicken and all that I think this next month. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. Usually they go through about three steaks. Um, the, Cause not all my kids really enjoy it, but the ones that do, they need to be stocked up, don't they? So I'm gonna get a bunch of these. Of course we're getting bread. Two of these will fit in the freezer at $1.95 each. I have no idea if this is a good idea. I had no idea that Meyer even sold these. These look very new to me. They have a sale, two for four. Nacho cheese, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like Doritos and then the crunchy curls are supposed to be like uh, Cheetos, right? So we're gonna give it a whirl give a little snack to the kids. I like to reward them for me going to the grocery store. Does that make sense? Like, I want them, they get very excited when I go to the grocery store because <laughs> they're always hopeful that something yummy is going to pop into this cart. And so I want to make their dreams come true today. And we're going to try these out and I hope I don't regret it, but you won't know until you know. $3.99 for the gochujang Korean chili sauce. We use this on the chicken bulgogi. We've been eating it. We made it for a live together and then now we've been making it for ourselves and I'm not gonna lie, it's just really good. It's just really good. It's $3.99 for this guy. I wanted to show you guys this. So we made Indian food together on the live and uh, Meyer has really come out with this whole section now that has been growing and uh, it's just delightful. So they have black cardamom, mustard seed, breed and cardamom. I don't even know how to say this. That looks exciting though. Just all sorts of yummy, yummy things. I'm not sure about pricing wise because I don't typically buy in the section uh, but when I went to the Indian store Masala Mart the prices were really low so I probably still will stick with that but all sorts of yummy stuff dry mango powder I want to know what you do with that I love that these are all products of India that's just really cool very cool so many things I told Joey I'd buy her two ramen noodle soups that's not for the month that's she's probably gonna eat that tomorrow and the next day but we're not gonna dip the whole box anymore because she kind of loses the desire after a while. So 39 cents each. For my pork shoulder that I shred up, it has chipotle peppers and adobo. Chill Chipotle. Oh, there's a little spelling error there. That's really interesting. Okay, anyway, they're um, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, $1.29. And I'm going to grab two of these because I'm gonna be using it for some chipotle inspired steak bowls as well. We haven't had mac and cheese in a while. The last time we were here, there was no Kraft mac and cheese, so we tried the Meyer one, and it was actually really tasty. Now we've gotta find the one that we like. Here it is. These run just about half of the price of the Kraft, and they're 55 cents each. I definitely wasn't planning to get more laundry soap, but they still have the buy one, get one 40% off sale. So I think I need to do that, because guess what? We're gonna be washing our clothes for the rest of eternity, and that's a good deal. I'm grabbing two of those big ones. I love when it works out like this. I needed two new sets of gloves. There was a thing that happened and they both needed to be replaced. Anyway, $3.39, buy one, get one 40% off. Dr. Pepper's coming home with us so that we can make that pork shoulder. You put it into a pressure cooker or a crock pot type thing, even into the oven, but you cover it with the chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, and then you put in some Dr. Pepper and you put in an onion, maybe a little brown sugar, and it is, well, it's just really good. So $2.79 for the bottle. Yay for fa, yay. I love the 5%. It is $6.49. $5.99 for the King Arthur whole wheat flour. I wanted to get this at Walmart because it was going to be quite a bit cheaper, but they were all out. So whole wheat flour here at Meyer it is. Shopping is done at Meyer. Let's head out. Well, first let's pay and then let's head out and I'll tell you the price. Okay, Meyer's total was $181.26 and there were a savings of $15.14 just from specials around the store and then clicking the button for the M perks that gives me money off of stuff that I buy at Meijer, which is really amazing. So the grand total for everything, this does also include the wipes that I got from Target, which I think was $26.10. $629.95 is the total. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Thanks for hanging out with me guys for this big once a month grocery haul. Hope you have an amazing day, bye.